Seven out of nine. You got a big ass forehead. Okay, all right. That that's a little too far. That's uncalled for. Fuck you. At the end of last episode, we obtained the Magist Vestige and killed Awakened Duke. So that means Duke is completed. And with that, we are now going to move on to the Whisperer. The Whisperer is a magic-based boss, so a perfect place to use my new Magus ring. It's kind of nice that, uh, you know, I'm done with all the melee DT2 bosses, so no more burning blood runes on my scythe, except now I gotta burn chaos and souls in my shadow. I'm insane. I'm insane in the membrane! No! Okay, we're gonna have to get the rhythm for that movement down. Apparently, I do not remember how to do that. What the fuck? <laughs> Apparently, I don't remember. Well, that seems kind of easy, actually. Hey, Whisperer Speed Trialist. I'm gonna guess that's maybe sub three minutes. I mean, I could be wrong, but that was a 259, so... I'm gonna make the bold assumption that was a sub three minute, probably. 700 monkfish? That, is that a seven? Oh my. <laughs> that's a lot of food, dude. Jeez. Oh, we're orbing already, baby. How many kills is that today? That is nine Whisperer kills. We've got our first Awakener's Orb. I like it. I like it. One really nice thing about the Whisperer is that it's got the most common drop rates of all the DT2 bosses, which is fair because it does take quite a while to kill, even with a shadow. So if you don't have a shadow, then it really takes a while to kill. So they did a good job of compensating drop rates for, you know, length of kill. Um, each individual Virtus piece is 1 out of 1.5k, so that means getting any Virtus piece is 1 out of 500, which is also about what the, uh, Axe piece is and the Vestige as well. Ingots are 1 out of 170, and uh, Awakener's Orbs are 1 out of 34, so I mean, especially compared to, like, Vardorvis, I mean, those are some really common drops, so I'm hoping we, we should get some stuff pretty early here, hopefully. I could bin these silly... All right, what the fuck am I doing? Chromium ingot, the drops have begun. I don't know why I zoomed in so much for that. I just had a feeling. Some, some, obviously something made me zoom in super far and it, it uh, worked out. Okay, there's chromium ingot number one from the Whisperer, which is good because I did use the three that I had for the Magus. So we need uh, two more, two more Whisperer, no more, no less. Whoa! That must have been a Whoa! That was a really fast kill! I got two of them done in one go! Uh, that was 50 kill count. 2 minutes and 17 seconds. And that completed Whisperer Speed Chaser. Which is the master task. And then Whisper- Oh! Wi never mind. I thought I did two speed tasks at once. This is just for getting 50 kill count. Still, I'll, I'll take it. Nice. Is mayonnaise- Oh! Another one? Holy! This might be my spooniest boss yet. I love how the clip of me getting that is going to start with is mayonnaise. <laughs> yes, if you're watching this, yes, mayonnaise is an instrument. Okay, well that's two out of three chromiums already. That's nuts. All right, I'm tired of getting the message in my chat box saying that I failed the CA because I'm not on the Archaea spellbook. So you know what? We're doing it. And to be fair, I should be using thralls anyway, so just gotta be a little bit extra careful to, uh, well, run really far away so I don't get meleeed. Tentacular. That's only an elite, so only four points, but now I won't get the message saying I failed it if I go back to Ancients. Let's actually have a peek at, uh, if there's anything else I need to do. Whisperer. We've got Perfect Whisperer, which is the five kills in a row. Uh, we've got the Awaken kill. We've got the uh, Grandmaster Speed Kill, and less than six seconds in the pre-enraged Shadow Realm. That sounds kind of hard? I don't know. I haven't really tried. Okay, now that's perfect. I didn't go over the six seconds, and when it comes to the ghosts, I won't even go there at all. I'll just eat the damage. So I think we're good. Well, as long as I actually get the kill, which... <laughs> There's a bit of a question mark for me at the moment. I still suck at this boss. Oh my fucking god, I, I, and I actually don't finish the kill, that's great, that is just, I, I definitely just willed that into existence.
Okay, that time we did it. <laughs> there we go. Dark memories completed. That is another one of those tasks that's really easy for a Grandmaster, but I'm not going to complain. What? I just got scammed. What the hell? Why didn't my grass work? What? Why did grass didn't work? Oh. Deals major damage with a high chance of holding your target. Yeah, high chance my nutsack. Since you guys keep posting the Giga Chad emote, I, got, I, got, I gotta find the Giga Chad Ash. It's so good. I'm, try, I'm trying to look through his replies and find it. God damn it, Mod Ash! <laughs> I'm trying to find a handsome picture, and I'm not looking at my screen. It's gone well so far. He says while he folded to Ice Demon like it had H-cup titties and no father figure. Huh? So, so far, the CMs have been going well. Which is a dangerous sentence to say out loud, because now I'm asking for it. Bust a groove, you know? Just get on out there. You see, why did I say that sentence out loud? Why? I literally just did that to myself. Why? <laughs> why, do, why do I speak? He's in the bin. It's a purple! Woohoo! Right, I'm gonna close the clan chat quickly before they potentially spoil anything good. Because you know if I get a twisted bow or whatever, the clan chat's gonna be like... Uh, is it a twisted bow? No, I'm... Oh, it's an orc! Oh, my God. <laughs> To be fair, I am pretty overdue. My, uh... My last purple was a mega rare, so... Yeah, I reckon we're due for a few prayer scrolls to offset that. <laughs> we, we, we gotta make up some ground there. Good luck, everybody! Oh, Tony got a purple! What did he get? What did he get? Ah, I got a dex. Does he need that? I have no idea. I have no idea the state of Tony's account. I don't know. I don't know if he needs that. He might. I don't, I don't know. Oh, he, he's reading it. He did need it. Oh, nice. That's all. That's a huge upgrade. Watson needs hard. Does he? Oh. What? Did I click on... Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. I got really flustered because I clicked on escape. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. What did I do? <laughs> I swear this perfect whisperer task is gonna be the death of me and there's a chromium ingot. I, I'm a little concerned, bro. That, that's my third chromium ingot in 97 KC here. I think I'm definitely zero out of three, man. This vestige ain't looking good right now. The upside is, uh, you know, that means that I do already have enough chromiums to make the Bellator, whenever I do get it, which is good. Like, it, it's, I think it's better to have that problem than the opposite. I just pray I don't end up going super dry. Bronze Log Swords! Let's go! Ooh, Baron Pet in the CC? Nah. Okay, alright. That is enough! That is, listen... Since I finished Duke, I have 104 Whisperer kills on the log. With four ingots, I'm getting one every 25 kills, bro. Ah, oh, stop. That's enough. That's enough. All right, quit it. Oh, no way I spooned it already. What? At first, I was like, oh, there's a beam for a medium. Cl what the fuck? 144 KC? Huh? Oh my god! What? Well, no wonder the Whisperer was giving me so many chromium ingots. They knew I was gonna need them right away. That's fucking crazy. I mean, like, of all the bosses, it happening here makes the most sense. Because it's got the most common drop rate, but... That's so spooned! <laughs> what? That's actually crazy! So, since completing Duke, I did 116 Whisperer kills. 
I got four Chromium Ingots, two Awakener's Orbs, and the Vestige. That is... That's just dumb, man. What the hell? Alright, we're an absolute professional at this by now. We use the chisel on the warrior ring. We break it down for the warrior... It looks like a banana. No, it's definitely a sword. It does not look like a banana. I'm just... I'm lying. Uh, <laughs> and then we use the... No, wait. No, 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 no. We use the vestige on the icon, along with 500 blood runes, to make the Bellator icon. And you need a ring mold. Damn it! I was so I was so close to doing the process smoothly. Of course I've had to forget something. Craft a Bellator ring, please. Oh baby. The Bellator ring has less strength bonus than the Berserker ring imbued. But it has a whopping 20 slash accuracy. And it still does give six strength. Now if it gave like no strength, like the warrior, it would be dead content. But there are a lot of pieces of content where 20 slash accuracy with the scythe, for example, along with still giving some decent strength bonus, albeit not the most, this thing actually can be better than the Ultor Ring in a lot of scenarios like Duke, for example. So this is uh, definitely another very relevant ring situationally. <laughs> It'll go in the gear tab, bro. Uh, this is crazy, man. We only have one left to go. We got three out of four. Okay, so with the Altor... No, 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 no. With the Bellator, my max hit is a 49. With the Altor, it's a 50. So you're only missing out on one max hit for a ridiculous amount of accuracy. Dang, I, th I thought it would be more than that. That's crazy. Well, I may have obtained the Vestige, but I do still have a few CAs I need to get done. And I guess I may as well try to knock them out while I'm at it. Um, the, uh, the main one I'm going to be focusing on first is I have to get five perfect kills in a row, which <laughs> we're going to have to lock it in, man, because I, I I feel like I'm, of all the DT2 bosses, I feel the worst at this one, honestly. What? What? That's my second kill of the day! Why am I so lucky at this boss? Oh my god. Okay, so I already have two Chromium ingots ready to use for the Venator when I get that. I only need one more and I'll be set on Chromiums. What the fuck, dude? Okay, I don't know if this is four or five. It was five. Okay, cool. Yeah, there was a bit of discourse in my chat because I think on release, you had to get five in a row, uh, but they changed it. So now you just have to get five perfect kills in a trip, not consecutive which, thank God, because otherwise, I would have been here all day, guaranteed. So there's Perfect Whisperer. Now, we gotta go for the speed kill. I think it needs to be sub... Well, let's make sure I know going into it. All I know is this is gonna suck. Whisperer speed runner is less than two minutes and five seconds. I think I gotta go grab uh, my Armadil crossbow, and basically, you just hope for a ruby bolt proc, and then you just you hope the shadow goes burr. Damn it, dude. I don't think I was pacing anyway, but... If that second Void Waker spec would have killed it, which it definitely could have... I would have at least lived and I would have found out if it was pace or not, I don't know. That's not a special attack. And of course that doesn't kill it. Yeah, heaven for fucking bid, you just KO it. Without a doubt, this has been the most annoying Grandmaster speed task I've gone for so far out of all the DT2 bosses. Just because, I don't know what it is, but my shadow just does not want to hit, man. Now, it's annoying enough because you have to just reset and shoot it with your crossbow over and over until you get a ruby bolt proc. Which, I want to say with the candor and diaries has like a 6% chance of happening, something like that. So, needless to say, you do a lot of resetting and shooting and resetting and shooting until eventually your ruby goes off. And then, you know, if your shadow just hits poorly, it just, it is what it is. Sucks to suck, dude. So, I reset. You know, I'm sitting there doing these attempts for over three hours straight and I was getting really burnt out and this did it. Oh, Jordan. God fucking damn it, man. <laughs>
you get into such a routine of like expecting not hitting a ruby, so you just click on the exit right away. Break. God damn it. At this point, I figured I was definitely due for a break from just resetting over and over again. So, I thought, let's go work on the other task I have left to do, and that is the Awaken kill. Which, I'm not really sure how that makes any sense. Uh, I'm kind of burnt out, so let's go do an Awaken fight. Yeah, okay, I don't know, I don't know about that. Um, going into this, I was admittedly pretty nervous, just because, you know, because I spooned the Vestige so early. I'm relatively unexperienced with Whisperer. Compared to the other bosses that I've done. Um, and I just generally feel like I kind of suck. Especially at the Enrage phase. So I was kind of nervous going into this one. Um, Whisperer is generally considered one of the easier ones. And of course it's going to vary uh, from person to person. I would say mechanically the Awakened Whisperer is very similar. But they just add a little bit more to the mechanics that are already there. Um, so basically, you know, like the Whisperer's auto attacks are a bit more annoying to deal with. Um, they, they do get progressively harder through the fight during the normal Whisperer. Um, with this one, they also get progressively harder, um, except they're, you know, they start at a much more difficult point, um, where you have to kind of switch more than you would for the normal one. And then it's got the same mechanics in that you have to hide behind the pillars, and you have to kill the ghosts, and you have to run on the, the glowing eggs. The difference is, is that... With the pillars, you have to hide behind four waves instead of three. With the ghosts, there is 16 of them as opposed to 12. And then the eggs one is is the same, I guess. However, you have less time to complete it. And the biggest thing about all this is that you don't regenerate sanity. So you have to minimize your mistakes because if you spend too much time in the shadow zone, your sanity will reach zero and you'll die. Now during the normal whisper, your sanity slowly regenerates. In the Awaken fight, once your sanity is drained, it will not go back up. So you really, really cannot pretty you can't really make any mistakes, otherwise it's gonna be massively detrimental because once you get to the enrage phase, you have to be in the, the shadow realm, if you will the entire time you're fighting the Enrage phase. So that means your sanity is constantly going down and there's nothing you can do to prevent that. So you have to go into the Enrage part of the fight with high sanity, otherwise you're doomed. Um, so yeah, I would say it's not super difficult in that it, it doesn't reinvent the wheel. It just takes the Whisperer and kind of amplifies it a little bit and really punishes you for mistakes. Nice. Not bad. I don't know how many tries that was exactly. I'm gonna guess eight or nine, but not bad. I definitely don't feel ready to switch to Iron Mammal. I need more practice than that, but good. We got one. First try. Woo! One and done, baby. Nice. Take that. 
One and done, baby. All right, Leviathan. I got 39 orbs. Well, 39 right now. Uh, hopefully, I'll be getting more orbs from killing the Leviathan. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm really happy. I think I used two orbs on Vardorvis, four on Duke, and one and done. So so far, I, our orb usage has been fantastic. Uh, now, we do still need the axe piece from the Whisperer, but I might come back for that later. I kind of want to get on to Leviathan, so for now... Come on, pop your little, pop your little head up. Wait, does, does she not respawn in the Awakened one? I was going to wave goodbye to your little head, but, well, whatever. Bye. You know, actually, great timing. If I have a Master here and I have an Elite with Watson, I think that means that I have three Elites. So, uh... Let's grab a medium and a hard, and do three masters to end the day. I just got a one eclectic medium, okay. Alright, after my recent ridiculous luck at uh, the Whisperer, I'm not, ha I'm not expecting much from these, but we got three master caskets. Number one, uh, two dragon helmer, you know, not bad. Okay, that may be one of the worst masters I've ever seen. Ooh, Anguish Ornament Kit. That is, I mean, obviously a duplicate, but it's like, it's almost 8 mil. Okay, nice. I'll take that. 